look, look, look. She's waiting over there. She sees me take up my phone and then start looking at the the dirt patches on the ground. Like these things, right? <laughs> it was, you know, these sort of subliminal threats. That's what they do. Look at her, still out there waiting. They wait and then she's looking over here at me. They waiting, man. They, they tell you, these criminals, young and old, right? And religion is a is the is the one tool that they can use to manipulate them really i should say the one tool more than one tool but religion is one of the tools they use to manipulate them to condition them to commit crimes and think that they can get away with it because you know they're doing god's uh work right right <laughs> they, they're god who's a psychopath but then they'll turn around and say god is all loving and god is all forgiving all right, that's what they'll say, right? The contradictory of a Christian mind. You hear the sirens? Yeah, speaking against Christianity because it's bullshit and people need to wake up, wake up their eyes and see what's going on. All right? You need, first of all, you need to go and learn where your religion comes from, how it's been corrupted, right? How it's been... And again, look, look. <laughs> So understand how I hear the call honk. As soon as you walk past me, again, they're slick. They're slick using the, uh, like I said, using these light skinned brothers because they know black women are, are, are colorists. They, they worship colorism. They practice colorism more than anybody else. Because uh, again, they've been conditioned to be in that way. So I always got to state, I always got to state that it's a conditioning. Uh, mechanism that has been, that's corrupted their mind and have taken over their mind and uh, they made sure and they got they, the white races made sure that they got rid of right that, that they they got rid of all of the the black psychiatrists psychologists who were who they who were afrocentric as they say right who wanted the best for black people who study white racism and white culture. Oh, yeah, paramedic, yep. <laughs> so what have you been seeing lately also? The use of uh, EMTs uh, in my targeting. So of course they're gonna, gonna show up, right? Look, favorite number. K E K K E K two three seven. The number thirty two again. Yeah, but they know exactly what it is that they're doing. It's coordinated. These are these are coordinated attacks. Anyhow, uh, but it doesn't really affect me anymore. Not as, well, at least not as it used to. I should say. Right. So anyhow, as I was saying, right. This is what they do. This, this is, this is exactly what they do. And they walk around here, you know, zombified, Christianized, with an evil mindset, and then want you to forgive them for what they're doing, right? <laughs> but they won't stop doing what they're doing, okay? It's all about taking the fight out of you. It's all about removing the Christ out of you. And when I say Christ, I don't mean some some uh, person that's outside of you. Meaning it's your consciousness. When you reach a higher level of consciousness, when you begin to understand and you see things that are, that are going wrong because of those within the society who have power and who continue to abuse people, particularly black people, Right, we continue to manipulate, to murder, to assault, to miseducate, to misdirect, right? To negatively condition. Okay. And to make an enemy out of those who seek to uplift black people to help black people progress in a way that's beneficial to them 
to each other and their children and families and the community. You know, but the very and they have the very same people targeting those of us who understand and see the truth. Okay? See, knowledge is what they fear. When they hide our history, they hide the knowledge, they take it, they use it for themselves to, to uplift themselves and their people. Okay? And yet, again, my people, black people, engaging in destructive behavior, and none of our professionals, none of our so-called they're not really leaders, I should say, but none of our so-called representatives who were chosen by our enemies is going to do anything about it, right? Because they're getting paid well. They're getting paid well and they're in a position where they believe they have power. But it's a false sense of power, okay? It is a false sense of power. And it's up to the younger generation to become smarter more intelligent, not more educated now, okay? When you're educated under the system, you don't become smarter and you don't become more intelligent, right? You, be, you basically become a person who is expertly trained in doing a task, right? And if you put in a different scenario, you won't even know what to do because you've only been conditioned and trained to one thing. Okay? Anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.